In my previous video, I just showed you how to set up the template. Now I'm just going to show you how to quickly program your cost estimate file. So you'll typically, for a cost estimate, want five columns. Your number, just to kind of help you keep track of how many line items you have. The description, where you'll have some words describing what you are measuring the quantity of. Then how many of an actual thing you have, whether it be wall studs or sheets of sheathing, and then the cost per unit, and then the total cost. So as we often do with these types of Excel programs, we multiply across and add going down. So I'm not going to program anything in these two cells. However, in column F, I will say this is equal to quantity multiplied by cost per unit. And then I'm going to drag that logic all the way down. Now, maybe I don't want to see zero every single time. Maybe I want it to remain as a blank cell up until the very end when there's something actually there. So I'm going to add some logic. I'm going to say this is equal to if, so if D5 times E5 is equal to zero, then, well, I don't want to show anything. So I'm going to say uh, quotation, quotation meaning it won't show anything because it'll show what's between these quotations, which is nothing. And then if D5 times E5 is not zero, meaning that there's a value for both of these, then I want you to give me the true uh, answer, which is D5 times E5. Now I will copy and overwrite the previous logic. And then for the overall total cost, I will say this is equal to the sum of whatever is above it. So if it's 5 times 4, now we can test the program, make sure that it's logical, and it works. So I'll delete these cells, and now we have a working programmed cost estimate.